All right, trappers, I woke up this morning. It was 39 degrees. It was beautiful out. And right now it's hotter than three hells. Um, but that's just the way it goes this time of year. We're coming into our our drought and uh, I ain't seen a drop of rain in a while. And so we got like low humidity, it gets really hot and then it gets really cold at night. So anyways, it makes for great sleeping. Um, before I go ahead and post an update on uh, the cordwood, I started the channel back, I think, around 2015 or so. And um, I used to have a business called Predator's Prey Wildlife Control over in the Smoky Mountains. And and that was some of my first content um, um, was getting flying squirrels out of attics and stuff like that. And, and then I picked it back up again in I read around 2018 or 19 or something like that. And um, um, I did a lot of stuff with wolf trapping when I picked it back up and fired it back up. But... Um, uh, a couple of you guys at, said you wanted to see more wolf trapping content. So wolf season's not open yet, but uh, it's time to do preseason stuff. What I want to know from you guys that want to see that, what do you want to see? Um, you want to see how I uh, make sets, how I set up an area, um, and stuff like that. Uh, what do you, what do you want to see? Uh, tell me, um, and I'll go ahead and put the content out there. Um, I've learned a lot over the past couple of years. Um, um, the big thing I learned is one thing I learned about wolf trapping in the past couple of years is the more I wolf trap, the more I chase them, the less I know. Uh, but I will, uh, of course, um, um, reveal what, what I use and how I trap and, and, and all of that. And, and I, I keep pretty good averages every year. Um, I know people can say, ask, you know, somebody's going to ask, you know, how many wolves have you caught? Um, all I'm going to say is more than, more than most, less than some. Um, there's a lot of egos in wolf trapping. It's rather sickening, actually. Um, a lot of testosterone. And if you think it's bad in coyote trapping, you should see it in wolf trapping. And I'm just not going to play that game. So um, um, it's really kind of soured me on the whole wolf trapping community, um, all the egos and everything. Um, shit, there's guys out there calling themselves wolf tripping gods. So um, it's just it's foolish. But uh, so anyways, um, I'm going to start putting some stuff out on how I go ahead and approach uh, wolf trapping. So let me know what you want to see. Now, the update for the cordwood. Thanks. All right, you guys, cordwood update. I officially ran out of cordwood. So that pickup truck load I had, you seen a couple days ago, um, that's as far as that got. So I'm going to need three maybe four more of them holy crap it's a lot of wood um gotta do these joints yet here so ooh, i got a little stack joint right there i have to break that in the next one um so anyways uh yeah i think it's looking pretty cool so next week um uh, will be uh um preparing wood all week that's uh, that's all i'm gonna do all week it's a miserable miserable job um cut it to length um doing 15 inches and then um sand the ends real nice make it look real nice and that's it it's ready to lay but uh i need to get one real at least one really nice pickup truck load so this is take, gonna take longer than I really expected. So, um, and then next the week after that, then I can start doing uh, window openings, and I'll be doing some nice long logs in here for her bench to be sitting on, and some logs coming out over there to hang jackets and stuff like that, and um, or maybe on this side over here because the wood stove is gonna go on this side here. So the bench will be back here um yeah and so yeah i think i'll do a generator room off to the side just something to, to fit the generator in so um but uh but yeah so there's my update on the cordwood next week's gonna suck